Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I've got two very popular highlighters today for the holiday 2017. The MAC Snowball Face Palette, which contains the highlighter Whisper of Guilt, that looks like that, and the brush. And also I've got the Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Highlighting Palette, that looks like that. If you want to hear more about these palettes and my thoughts and which I like, keep on watching. MAC released for the holiday 2017 a big collection that called Snowball Collection. The packaging is unreal for this collection. One of the items is a, a kit that called Snowball Face Palette and includes a highlighter that used to be in stock in MAC and um, discontinued as usually MAC does, the Whisper of Guilt. Now, the outside packaging looks like that. It comes in that plastic box. It comes with a bag that looks like that. I mean, that's sequins galore, right? And you open it. It's a decent bag. I love attention to detail, and I think that is really, really beautiful. The packaging looks like that. I mean, seriously, it gives me like, not only Christmas vibes, but happiness vibes. It's like beautiful, kind of like glittery. It's very smooth, so it's not like rough glitter, it's smooth. And when you open the compact, it has like a big mirror here. And um, this is the Whisper of Guilt. And also it comes with a highlighting brush that looks like that. It's actually very, very soft brush and it's the 140 SES. It's all very festive and holiday and uh, they all match together. Max says, this part is about to glow up. Our snowball face bag is the queen of show-stopping luminosity, a icy dusting of snowflake embossed extra dimension skin finish, glazes the cheekbones and decolletes, brightens eyes and gleams in all the right places. Exclusive rose gold handled brass and a sequined stunner of a bag included. This is similar to dance for. This is an extra dimension skin finish and you get 7.5 grams, 0.26 ounces. And it retails for 49.50 US dollars and it's made in Italy. I've used it on my cheekbones today, as you see here, right? I'm gonna put a little bit more so I can show you. I used it with this brush, of course, because, hey, I mean, why not? So the brush, it's really, really soft. And um, it's placing the highlighter perfectly. Now, the highlighter, the highlighter, obviously, I mean, it has like this snowflake here, which is really, really beautiful. It's that, I would say, champagne gold color. And I'm gonna swatch it for you. It's very metallic and very reflective. That's why probably the most of people, they went gaga for this highlighter. I don't know um, how many times I watched YouTube videos and people mention, oh, the whisper of guilt, the, the whisper of guilt. I suppose now I understand why the color is really, really beautiful and also Mac I released that highlighter when, when highlighters weren't as popular as they are today. Let's tell you about the bag. The bag, I mean, it's beautiful. I like the sequins. I like um, this little thingy here. If sequins is your thing, it's a beautiful addition to that um, face palette. It's a decent size. I mean, you can't fit like, you know, heaps of stuff, but you can fit enough stuff so you can carry it, your makeup with you in your handbag. I personally really like it because I mean, glitter and sequins are my thing. Now, the compact, the compact, the compact looks very sturdy and um, um, quite like, you know, heavy. It, it has like a, a glittery appear, but it's very, very smooth. I like the color, the rose gold, the mirror, the mirror is quite nice. It's not a bad mirror. And of course, I really like this snowflake that's embossed there. It's like really beautiful. The color, of course, it's um it's really nice when um i saw it on the net i thought really it's gonna be really gold and as i said before i'm not really a big fan of really gold highlighters but it's not as gold as i thought it would be it's more like a, a champagne gold if you will and um i really really like it i think it's a beautiful uh, color performs really well it doesn't look chunky 
uh, it doesn't have like glitter it's more like metallic it's smooth i'm obsessed with it now the brass the brass also it's it's really good quality it's very soft it's, it's synthetic brass and um i mean the handle is small you can use it really really easily in your face or in your nose it's just very soft but dense enough to pick up the product if you know what i mean and it's a fan brass but it's thick fan brass it's not like you know the thin ones it's quite chunky but um i like it because it gives me more control I, sometimes i don't like flimsy like long thin brasses that is like something that you feel that you're holding a brass if you know what i mean so i really like the brass as well all in all guys this face palette i think it's a win-win situation and if you if you can get your hands on definitely get it now let's go to the hourglass ambient metallic strobe highlighting palette i mean the name come come on couldn't they call it metallic strobe palette you know the box looks like that it's a metallic silver and on the back it has the names what do you get how much and all that good stuff the palette looks like that it's the classic hourglass palette but that is in silver it has a big mirror here it has these three beautiful highlighting shades that they call it this here metallic strobe i wasn't a big fan of the previous highlighters the individuals that they released um because i went to the store and i swatched them and um i don't know they were really subtle they remind me kind of like the normal powders they have so i'm uh, so i thought what's the point but this year everybody raved about them and i'm like okay i better try them it retails for 62 us dollars this limited edition palette of ambient metallic strobe lighting powders provide the brightest highlight to the skin with a smooth velvety texture these highly concentrated metallic strobing powders glide across the high points of the face to reveal a reflective vibrant glow features three powders the ambient metallic strobe lighting powders in absolute strobe light in um pure strobe light which is the middle one and lucent strobe light today um, i'm wearing the middle one the pure strobe light and i'm gonna swatch them for you so we have this one is the absolute strobe light this is the pure strobe light which i'm wearing on my cheeks today and this is the lucent strobe light the first one is more like pinkies kind of like cool tone icy highlight the second one is more like champagne gold highlight and the third one is more like a rose gold highlight i'm gonna apply a little bit more so you, you can so i can show you as you see it has a beautiful metallic finish all these powders they perform really well they're finely milled they're very good quality the quality that i'm expecting from our glass and um, they're made in Italy. You get 3.3 grams by three. They are vegan and gluten-free. My problem with this product, as with a lot of highlighting palettes, is I'm not gonna use all these three shades. Probably I'm gonna use this one and that. The, the third shade, I'm not gonna use it. It's not for every skin tone, if you know what I mean. Sometimes I find that kind of like highlighting palettes is a bit of waste. It's better, as, as for me to pick one highlight highlighter say that it will suit for you then get a palette that you probably you won't use you know some of those you get kind of like a um, better value because you get three shades and some people they say oh you can use it as an eyeshadow but i have so much eyeshadow i mean i don't need a highlighter to use as an eyeshadow all these times that i bought highlighting palettes i ended up with using one or two shades the most so bear that in mind i like this palette and i recommend it if you don't have any other highlighter palettes and if you're sure you're gonna use all these colors if you think that you're gonna use only one of these colors maybe wait until um, hourglass release it individually because usually they do that and then you can get a bigger pan of um the color of your choice that's all guys thank you so much for watching this video and um, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about both these releases. And um, until next time, mwah!
Love you lots. Bye.